Hey guys, today I'll be showing you my bridal makeup look for my upcoming wedding and tons of tips and tricks to keep you looking flawless on your big day. I've also teamed up with Maybelline to bring you this easy bridal makeup look to life. So if you're a soon to be bride, keep watching. First, apply your favorite moisturizer so that your skin is hydrated. Next, a super important step is to use primer on the big day. I've been using the Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio for the last few weeks and it's been amazing on my skin. It helps with smoothing the skin out and with redness too. Next, on to foundation. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in 220. I've gone through so many bottles of this, I just love it and it's perfect for the day of. I'm going to blend this into the skin and really work it in for that flawless complexion. Now it's time for concealer. I'll be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in light. I'll apply this underneath the eyes in a triangular shape, then on the brow bone, the T-zone area, on the bridge of the nose, and around the nostrils, and a bit on the chin. Then blending the concealer in to make sure that it's seamless. To make sure the foundation and concealer stay on all day, I'll be using the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Powder in Nude Beige. Taking a large fluffy powder brush, I'm going to swirl it in the powder, and a tip to get rid of the excess is to tap it off, lightly go around the entire face to set everything in. Time for the eyebrows, just filling in these sparse little guys using an angled brush for that defined eyebrow shape. Now going into eyeshadow, I am loving the Blush Nudes palette from Maybelline, starting with a light pink color on the lids with a fluffy brush. Then I'm going to use a shimmer on the inner corners of the eyes to make it really pop, and to darken the outer corners, I'm going to smoke it with a lilac shade and a darker purple shade. This palette is pretty much the exact same color scheme that I'm using for my wedding, so it's perfect for this look. For eyeliner, go waterproof. You'll most likely have a lot of happy tears on your big day, so make sure your eye makeup doesn't run when you start saying those vows. The Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil is perfect for this. I'm going to line the upper lash line closest to the root of my lashes as I can, and a great tip is to hold the pencil horizontal so that it's easier to apply. This is so that you have more control over the pencil. Then, taking a flat brush, I'm going to lightly smoke it out so it's not as harsh and has a softer effect. I'm also going to wing it out just a bit to help open up the eyes. Now I'm going to chisel out the cheekbones and sides of my forehead and contour just a bit. Then I'm going to apply a light rosy pink blush to the cheeks for that natural flush. And a great tip with blushes, apply it upwards and use soft circular strokes. For the lips, I'm going to run a mauve lip liner to help define the lips just a bit. Then taking my Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in Romantic Rose, I'm going to apply this all over for a perfect base. It's a lovely bridal color and to top this off, I'm going to take Lust for Blush on top to give it a darker shade so it stands out more. The two shades combined make for the perfect lip shade. Now let's get to curling the lashes, applying some mascara, and putting on those lashes. A great tip for applying lashes is using a tweezer to adjust the center and corners of the lashes. When they're in position, clamp them down to make sure that they blend in with your regular ones. And last but not least, you need to put on setting spray. The Maybelline Master Fix Wear Boosting Setting Spray is going to keep my makeup on all day long. This is a super crucial step, so don't forget the setting spray. You'll need it on the day. And here's the final bridal makeup look. I also wanted to show you guys a little glimpse of what my hair will look like on the wedding day. You guys have seen Ashley on my channel before. She's my hairstylist and she was so kind enough to come over and do a little mock-up of my wedding hair. We pretty much just hung around and chatted all day about weddings because she recently got engaged too, which is super exciting. Weddings can be stressful and I'm definitely feeling it this month, but whatever it is, remember planning for a wedding is special and should be a fun process. So make sure you enjoy every moment because at the end of the day, it's really just about you and your special someone being together and celebrating with all the people you love. It's a very exciting time and journey and I'm wishing you all the best on your big day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next video. Bye for now! If you guys haven't done this already, be sure to click on that subscribe button in the middle of the screen. Do you see it? Do you see it? Subscribe and add me on Snapchat and on my other social pages because I'm on every single day and I'd love to see you there. Chat soon.